Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and make a little video right. to, uh, to put on our site. But So I guess this is what, the fifth story or sixth floor roof we're in, Uptown Dallas. There you go, got the shot. There's a so customer the here. The test will be, uh, when it has a big heavy downflow, you don't want the video leaking inside though. Yeah, yeah, we'll have to, we don't want that to happen. Not leaking inside. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> so we're going to replace this back slope here, fix these dead valleys. Place those plumbing boots. And luckily, there's an elevator to work with. So we get to ride that up and then just truck the shingles up this spiral staircase here. I'll show you where the water is coming. I'll show you where the coming. Are you excited? Yeah. Alright, so we got the shingles torn off on this area here. Getting everything prepped and found a couple leaking areas. One of the things we noticed is the way that they did this flashing here because it's on top of this one instead of underneath it. When water runs down the wall, it's able to go right under here and leak inside. So that's no good. And then on this side, when the original installers put in the flashing, Somehow, this piece got cut. And so as water runs down, it's able to seep right in here where I'm pointing. There's a big split and water's leaking in. And then over here on this part of the felt paper, this nail that has come up through the roof, uh, poked up through the shingle too and so as water ran down it went straight in through that opening and, and leaked in. So what we're going to do here is take out this felt paper, put down an ice and water shield and run it up the wall, put on new metal flashing and then put the shingles on and that'll take care of the leak. So this is the back shot, it's the back shot of the townhome.